uh, Serge uh, Equi, President of the West African Development Bank. You have your seven minutes, uh, cher ami Sharp. Cher ami. Merci, merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, I'll, I'll briefly describe the uh, the paradigm, the context in which we are, and uh, conclude with the uh, with the strategy we are aiming at, which we believe is the way through. Well, since the the beginning of 2020, we have observed an uh, unprecedented magnitude of uh, of the economic growth when we compare term on term. Uh, in this context, I have to say that predicting, uh, 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 predicting um, what will the next term economic growth rate be with a high degree of certainty is a highly perilous exercise. However, the following targets uh, seem to be somewhat realistic with 6% for the worldwide economy for 2021 and 4.9 I would say for 2022 and as for as far as West Africa region is concerned we our targets are 5.7 and 7.2 possibly uh, um, uh, for 2022 coming from a very low base still positive but uh, the very low base 0.9% uh, in 2020. These uncertainties are based on the outcome of the COVID-19 pandemic, we all know, with the potential appearance of new variants, notably in emerging countries, but also the slowing down, potential slowing down of the Chinese economy. I want to come back to this with a potential bubble in the real estate uh, sector. That could definitely have impact on the raw material prices, but also on the oil prices hitting either uh, the public and private uh, sectors. So as public or private decision makers, we need to be prudent, resilient. And um, because what is really striking here is that this, um, this, this crisis we face is a sanitary crisis uh, with the economic outcome positively correlate, correlated to the level of vaccination. So after Asia in uh, 2020, the U.S. First, first, uh, first half of the year 2021, Europe is now enjoying um, an economic surge with, uh, as its vaccination rate is higher than the one prevailing in the U.S. and anywhere else in the world. Emerging countries and Africa with a two, between two to four percent vaccination rates face an additional hurdle with the risk of being marginalized from international trade flows. This could have major consequences on their capacity to have access to new funding sources. This liquidity being so crucial, not only for the necessary expansionary policies, but also to fund the gap of of the, uh, the, the gap of the, uh, the, the, the budget slippage from 3 to 7 percent, which is huge for our OMU region. This crisis has occurred or again two years ago and has, is of a financial nature, purely financial nature now, and we have observed the appearance of black swan uh, as described by Nassim Taleb. As you know, stock market has been hit badly in, 20, in March 2020. However, the recovery was swift, and uh, uh, the 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 the, uh, the uh, when we look at where the 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 CAC 40 is or the Dow Jones is now, where they are now, it is impressive. So the recovery is swift. So this capacity to recover is swift. So. In this context, we have observed the, uh, a, a tremendous increase of the, of the public debt. Tremendous. We're seeing today almost more than 100% of the uh, public debt in an historical low environment. And the worldwide economy has been put on a drip. Liquidity was made available. I said yesterday that cash was king. And we believe at the West African Development Bank, and that will be my last remark, Mr. President, that one way through, uh, one way through now is climate and sustainability. The Build Back Better 
motto should not only be a concept, but a true reality, notably in Africa, where we could even rename it Build Back, or even Just Build, Just Build. And the way to build, uh, that's why, uh, in order to, to, to build, that's why we, we definitely support the SDR initiative. Because we do believe that through this initiative, uh, this initiative will help the governments to reduce their indebtedness, this is very obvious, but also the private sector to create jobs and sustain growth. So this will be my very last comment, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Uh, and um, I would like to express here uh, my, my, my worries about the, uh, the, the, um, the fact that I just want to believe that the whole world need to understand that build back better should start with the build and need to start from somewhere. That would be all for me. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. You, you were very clear on the build. Thank you very much.